Hello everyone, uh, this problem is from ISI entrance 2019 and it's a very interesting problem in, in its own right. It appears to be a complex number problem, which it obviously is, but it's also a geometry problem. We will see what it is. Let's first understand the statement of the problem. Uh, why don't you pause the video and read the statement first. It says that we start with a complex number zk or zk. So this is the kth element of a sequence that we are building now. Now how is this complex number zk, um, how is this complex number zk selected? Well, it is selected such that absolute value of zk is equal to 1. What that means is, it's a point on a unit circle absolute value of zk means uh, the distance of the complex number zk from the origin is 1. So that means we are only focusing on points which are one unit away from the origin of the complex plane which is 0, 0. So zk could be any point from this um, unit circle that we have. All right. Okay, so we choose such points ZK and uh, we denote AK. What is AK? All right, let's find out what is AK. AK is the sub triangle, AK is the area of the triangle formed by ZK I times ZK and zk plus i times zk these three points so you have to imagine the complex numbers as just points in the plane and uh, then this problem becomes very easy uh, let's see what i mean by that suppose this particular point is zk this particular point here is zk so let me join this point with uh, the origin now what is i z k so if you have any idea about the about how complex numbers work you, are, you know that i multiplying by i to any complex number will rotate it by 90 degree so maybe it's here i times z k is here so multiplication by i this is a key fact maybe i can write that key fact is multiplication by i is a rotation by now 90 degree counterclockwise now the reasons behind this uh, are discussed multiple times in our complex number and geometry module if you want to check it out you should look into chinta.com uh, but uh, for the moment we will take it as a given fact so we have zk and izk like this two points on the unit circle so izk is also on that same unit circle and then we have the third point which is zk plus izk so we just have to complete the parallelogram to just add these two points so maybe something like this so this point is zk plus i zk it's just a vector addition of two points so this is just a parallelogram well it's not only a parallelogram uh, it's actually a square now why is that you see this is 90 degree that since it's a parallelogram, therefore, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. So this is definitely a rectangle. And why is it a square? Well, that's because if you take adjacent sides of this rectangle, they're equal. And why is that? Because they're, they're radius of the same circle. These two are radius of the same circle. So we have a rectangle and then we have uh, two adjacent sides of the rectangle equal which means it's a square let me run down the argument one more time 
we added zk and izk by parallelogram law of vector addition so this is a parallelogram this angle is 90 degree because zk was turned 90 degree to get izk since it's a parallelogram opposite angles are equal so this angle is 90 implies that is 90 which would imply the other two which are equal and adds up to 180 should also be 90 each so it's a rectangle and now we see that adjacent sides of this rectangle are equal which uh, because they are radius of the same circle here therefore this is this is a square okay so it's a square with side length one because the radius of the circle is one so area of the square is one but we are not interested in the area of the square we are interested in the area of this triangle let me draw that in green and maybe shade it which is exactly half the area of the square which means area of the triangle area of the triangle is just half Notice that this is true no matter how you choose ZK. This is true no matter how you choose ZK. This area of the triangle is always half. Okay, so now what are you trying to do? Well, we are trying to choose ZK and we can choose any ZK. We can choose it in any way we want as long as it is on, this, you know, on the unit circle. And we are computing the area and we know the area is half no matter what zk is so for example a1 a1 is half a2 is half and so on ak is half and we can keep on doing this and what were we interested in we are interested in this in this particular series a1 raised to 1 plus a2 square plus a3 cube plus a4 raised to 4 and so on but notice that each of these things are half. So it says half plus 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 2 cube plus 1 over 2 raised to 4, etc. Okay, so we know that this particular series is an infinite geometric series and it always converges no matter what point you choose. So this is always converging towards 1. And if you do not know why this is true, uh, you can use, for example, the infinite uh, GP summation formula. But really, you have to understand what convergence of a series means. And you would know that this is a converging towards 1. So, definitely, uh, this third option is, all, is true. It always converges. Notice that we did not really use any x plus i y kind of uh, complicated stuff. We just use the geometry of complex numbers. And that's really how you should approach these kind of problems. Uh, complex numbers are designed to handle rotation and dilation. These are very important geometric transformations. Um, look into the link in the description or go to chinta.com to learn more about exciting mathematics. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.